Yesterday we had this State of the Union back and forth where Pelosi had already said, you're not getting your State of the Union as long as the shutdown's going on. Right. So Donald Trump took the weird measure of having someone write a letter for him. And he sent this letter to her and said, uh, your argument doesn't make any sense. Right. There's not a national security what issue. You're saying, right. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to have this State of the Union. And within two hours, she said, no, you're not. And he said, oh, okay then. Which is not how things normally play out with Trump. So that weird thing where he called her bluff, found out she wasn't bluffing, or if she was, she just continued to bluff. She didn't really do anything new. She just said, no, you're not doing it. And he yielded. And she put out, he put out some tweets that were very like, you know, she has the authority to determine if there's gonna be one, so we'll do it later. He like kind what of is that all about? Took ownership of it though. He kind of decided like he so his tweets are sort of kind of like this is my decision and I'm going I'm not but he had going clearly to. lost at that point. Wait, but is that not how he operates with everything? He said Mexico is going to pay for the wall and then he looked at us and said, "Yeah, I said that, but I didn't say it." Mm -hmm. Huh? I don't that's not how I read this situation. I, I, I think, think he blinked and and I wonder if it represents anything more than just the State of the Union thing. Is this as a, a look into how he perceives the shutdown, the way that it's going? No, I think this is simpler than that. I think he thinks, I think he operates in a way that he thinks he's the president and he can do anything. Mm -hmm. And I think in this, the first two letters, he thought that he could still do what he wanted. So and then I think why not do the Someone speech? advised him and said, no, actually you can't go in there without permission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, you I get that. but. Why didn't they tell that. him that between January 16th and yesterday? Between when Pelosi sent the letter and when he finally sent his own letter. I mean, why didn't somebody tell him it's not it's not logical? Mexico, you can't mm -hmm. force another country's government to pay for a wall. Mm -hmm. Like, why didn't somebody tell him that? I'm sure yeah. they did. Mm -hmm. Maybe Sean Hannity needed to say it on air mm -hmm. for him. I don't know if Sean Hannity's actually caught up to that position yet. <laughs> no, but, but I think that he just didn't know that he actually cannot just do it there without yeah. permission. Well, and I will say to anyone watching this that, look, if you're on any level frustrated or uncomfortable with the fact that people in the media are dissecting this sort of stuff yeah. day in and day out, I hear you. Be I get it. People are mad that the president is going back and forth. Like, well, I'm sure on. that they are. Yeah. But we, like, he is not a person who operates according to any sort of system of logic or right. predictability. And so, to some extent, trying to get into his psychological state, as we'll do later when Dr. Bandy Lee joins the show, is what we have. And because the stakes are so high, we sort of have to engage in this. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.